This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Uh, umaga, tanghali, gabi. Uh, this is Kamentong in our uh, regular uh, Saturday evening and uh, the replays on YouTube uh, to discuss the nation's uh, politics. And uh, this past week and in the weeks ahead, uh, we'll be faced with this uh, very important and very dramatic uh, issue. Uh, and uh, as our title has it, uh, uh, we are uh, into a Western information war versus the Philippines. Meron po isang gera. Sabi nga ni Alex Jones, kung titingnan nyo, isang very popular American uh, website, uh, Infowars. Ano? Sabi niya, there is a war uh, on for your mind. Uh, may gera para mahawakan ang isip po ninyo. Ano? Uh, information is very, very fundamental and very strategic, very vital. Malcolm X, yung revolutionaryong uh, black American uh, during the 60s, 70s, uh, ano sabi niya tungkol sa media at information? The media is the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and make the guilty innocent, and that's power. Because they control the minds of the masses. Uh, yung isip ba, po ba ninyo, kontrolado? Yung isip ko ba, kontrolado? To some extent, we're all controlled until we understand that we are being controlled left and right, middle, upper, uh, from, the, from below, from uh, above. Uh, then we form our own views. And it doesn't mean, hindi ibig sabihin na kailangan mag-iba-iba tayo dahil there is only one truth outside. Isa lang ang katotohanan. Sana tayo ay magkasama doon sa katotohanan Pag malampasan po natin, if we go beyond all these uh, forces that are trying to capture and control our minds. Sabi ni Tom Clancy, yung uh, very uh, famous, uh, very uh, popular author, the control of information is something the elite always does, uh, uh, and uh, particularly in a despotic form of government, information, knowledge is power. If you can control information, you can control people. Uh, are we being controlled? Yes and no. If we are free, then we can understand the efforts to control us, and then we are free. And uh, yung sinasabi ni uh, Tom Clancy na elite, sino ba talagang elite? Si Presidente Duterte ba elite? Siyang gobyerno nga. May power daw siya. Pero siya ba ang pinaka-powerful? Uh, or yung mga oligarchs sa Pilipinas? na may control ng ABS-CBN, Channel 5, uh, um, GMA7, ano? uh, yung maraming websites, yung maraming, uh, uh, maraming ibang mga instrumento ng media. Or is there a bigger, more powerful uh, force above the, the entire Philippines, which traditionally, traditionally has been the Western powers, yung mga sakanluran? Ano? Uh, ditong linggong ito, nakita natin ano, yung mga pailalim na control sa ating information system ng uh, mga Western powers through their uh, financial power. Ano. At uh, nagsimula po ito dahil doon sa kampanya nitong si Bobby Tiglao ng Manila Times na sinimulan ko actually 10-15 years ago pa nung ang uh, mga Western powers kasama yung local power elite na mga ayala sa iba pa, pinabagsak si Presidente Marcos. Ano. Eh, si Presidente Era. Ano. But, let's uh, go back first to the first uh, vid, uh, image that I prepared. No? And uh, this is uh, uh, the column of um, Bobby Tiglao. Government must indeed wrap 
rappler for its foreign ownership. Dahil lumalabas po ano, sa uh, ilalim uh, ng mga kaalaman ng tao, no? underneath our uh, attention, eh, milyong-milyong dolyar po ang pumapasok sa Rappler at kay Maria Ressa at yung grupong iyan. Uh, nakilala natin pero matagal na po nating uh, hinihiwalay sa ating sariling mga uh, media efforts. No? Okay. And uh, dahil itong uh, ang Rappler ay eh, tumatanggap po ng uh, uh, at least uh, 1 to 2 million dollars no? from just one entity, Omidyar. Ano? Omidyar is the uh, foundation of this uh, uh, owner of uh, eBay, ano? na kung susuriin pa natin na mas malalim, may mga suspecha na talagang si Omidyar eh, eh dinevelop ng CIA. No? Now, alam po ninyo, sa end of the show, I will show you a quote I put on the Facebook sa post ko. Uh, sa Pilipinas, sinasabi nila, uh, mayroon daw corruption sa media, yung envelopmental journalism. Isang libong piso sa loob ng envelope, ipamimigay sa media, that's very corrupt environmental eh, and developmental journalism. Pero kung isang milyon dolyar ang tawag nila investment, ano? Hindi lang po Rappler. Ano? Ang inquirer meron din diyan, daan-daan libong uh, dolyares. Ganyan din ang Philippine Star, ano? And so on. And then uh yang yan sa mga NGOs ng media, ano? Uh, PCIJ, uh, Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism. Uh, if I recall correctly, which I, we will show a little la later on, uh, maybe around 200,000 US dollars for PCIJ. Naalala ko din noon, uh, I wrote about PCIJ receiving uh, 100,000 US dollars in the campaign against uh, President Erap nung pinapabagsak yung halal na presidente na si Erap. Ano? Uh, there is the Vera Files of my very good friend uh, Ellen Tordesillas. You know, it uh, does, does not diminish my friendship with her, but uh, at least people should know that they are getting money from foreign sources. You know. Is it illegal? Well, in the first place, of course, the ethics there can be questioned, but the legality is something the lawyers will fight over. At tulad ng Rappler, yung Rappler kasi, hindi tulad ng Inquirer at Philippine Star at iba pa, mahuhusay ang uh, mga abogado nila at pinagtakpan lahat. Ano? Uh, even our uh, telecoms uh, industry, uh, ang uh, PLDT, sino ang foreign owners na malaki ang share pero may mga maniobro sila. Uh, PLDT Smart uh, is um, uh, with uh, Salim Group, in, uh, an Indonesian. Ano? At yung Globe, uh, NTT ng Japan, and Singapore Telecom. Ano? Uh, so, itong reality na tayo isang maliit na bansa na maraming mga nakapaligid na mga very financially powerful other countries. But let's go back. Of course, uh, Inquirer, nabanggit ko. Eh, yung Inquirer, dumidipensa kay Rappler. Tulad nitong si Franklin uh, Tan, ano? isang kolumnista doon na abogado rin. Ano? At... Uh, uh, let's show our second image. No? Does the CIA really own Rappler? You know, tinatanong ni Franklin, uh, ano, uh, uh, Franklin Tan. Ano? Uh, mayroon tayong image no, may uh, face ni Franklin Tan din dyan, ano? There, yung quote. Sabi naman ni Bobby Tiglao in response, So, Mr. Tan, can you disclose if you are, uh, if you advise to Midyar or North Base? North Base nagbigay din ng milyong dolyar dito sa Rappler, no? and is also funded by uh, George Soros ano? on its investment in Rappler? Of course, Tan is uh, maybe even uh, panicking to argue it didn't uh, violate the Philippine Constitution, yung Rappler, hindi daw nag-violate. But uh, what is the truth about uh, Franklin Tan, the columnist of Inquirer? Siya po ay isang abogado with uh, D.L. Piper, Singapore-based Singapore a foreign uh, uh, law firm. Ano? So, maraming interconnections yan. Yeah. And uh, Omidyar ano, has been uh, involved in the regime change in other countries. Tulad nitong susunod na uh, image, no? Pierre Omidyar co-funded the Ukraine Revolution Groups with the U.S. government, meaning CIA. And uh, may mga dokumento po dyan. Yun yung coup d'etat o regime change doon sa... sa, um, sa um, sa Ukraine, ano? Uh, sa Ukraine, na nagkaroon ng uh, even uh, uh, bloodshed and so on, and uh, napatalsik yung again, an elected president, uh, 
uh, you can you can you, uh, you <laughs> do not remember exactly how to pronounce it you know? but uh, the president was forced to leave his office uh, and uh, uh, a western backed uh, uh, president took over you know? and uh, it has been in uh, chaos for the past 4 or 5 years no okay so uh, young Omidyar, uh, of course, is very suspect, and uh, yeah, our next, um, our next uh, image will show the other uh, contributor to the many different uh, media organizations and NGOs in the Philippines, no? the National Endowment for Democracy. And this is a report uh, no? uh, posted, um, uh, and um, uh, it, the NED uh, a, is a CIA conduit, funded, uh, is funding anti-Duterte media outfits. You know? And um, the, Nash, um, the NED is, has also been uh, written about by many American authors. You know? For example, uh, this is uh, from... Uh, uh, Bloom. Uh, what's the first name of Bloom? Let's look at the image. Uh, William Bloom. So William Bloom po is a uh, maybe 80-year-old American uh, writer and activist who has been criticizing American imperialism. And here he has an article, uh, and he has books on this, Trojan Horse, the National Endowment for Democracy. Itong National Endowment for Democracy ay itinayo nung na na discovery ng even the American uh, political leadership na sobrang mainit na ang CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. Tapos siyang dating, direktang nagpopondo ng kung ano-ano mga destabilization, subversion, and so on, ano, kahit na dito sa Pilipinas. Ano. And uh, yung nga, uh, mga infamous or famous people like uh, Ninoy Aquino says, uh, I do not work for the CIA, I work with the CIA. <laughs> you know? And... Uh, Pero nung naging skandaloso na itong CIA, mga assassinations doon sa Vietnam ng president, ni Presidente Gordon Ngo, ni Din Diem, and, and yung uh, CIA operations sa Indonesia kung saan dalawa, tatlong milyong, well, supposedly, uh, some say 600,000 were killed ano, in another uh, coup against at that time President Sukarno. Uh, sabi ng Amerika, eh, hindi na maganda yung CIA na iharap. So nagtayo sila nitong National Endowment for Democracy. And um, another uh, image there, of course, uh, I, which I prepared is uh, uh, National Endowment for Democracy, the legal window of the CIA. Can we show that? Ano? Ayan, by Thierry Maison. Si Thierry Maison ay isang French intellectual. May uh, website siya, voltairenet.org. Always very good analysis, no? Uh, itong uh, National Endowment for Democracy ang nagpumalit uh, sa CIA sa mga open operations ng American subversion. Tulad ng kanilang kampanya doon sa Russia. Kung si, saan sila ay nakialam sa mga eleksyon sa Russia. Ano? At uh, umabot na po uh, today uh, that uh, the National Endowment for, the, uh, for Democracy is the first undesirable NGO banned from Russia. Uh, we also have a an image for that, you know? um, and so pinagbawalan na ang uh, itong NGO na National Endowment for Democracy. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, daan daan libo kung suma total niyan milyong milyong dolyares ang pumapasok sa iba't ibang mga uh, NGOs and uh, media organizations. Particularly, I want to stress yung Center for Media Freedom and Responsibility ni Melinda Quintos de Jesus. Diretsahan ko sinasabi po yan dahil noong 2001, 2002, binabanatan ko na yan ano, at sinasabi ko, ito ay isa sa mga nag-destabilize kay Presidente Estrada. Uh, ngunit ni minsan hindi binabatikos yung wetting lord ano, at uh, maraming mga ebidensya na mas malala pa ng, na ginagawa, ginagawa nitong gobernador ng Ilocosun na to, si Chavit Singson. Ano? Pero yun, yung kalaban ng Estados Unidos, ang kalaban nitong mga NGOs at hindi po yung uh, corrupt uh, na hindi ko sinasabing yung iba na tinatarget nila, hindi corrupt. No? That's up to the uh, political system and the courts to, 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 to take care of. No? But they are uh, being used for selective persecution, targeting, and so on. So, Center for Media Freedom and Responsibility, sinasabi nila, mahusay ang uh, kanilang intensyon na para gumanda daw ang media ng Pilipinas. Ano? Well, um, so we've um, uh, shown uh, all these and then um, 
Of course, uh, pumasok na naman ng Amnesty International dito sa eksena na suppression of press freedom daw, yung ginagawa dito sa Rappler and so on. No? Amnesty International um, is also being funded by George Soros. That was same one uh, funding uh, ano, uh, North Base and many other operations. Ano? Amnesty International. Uh, mga human rights, human rights law. Ano? Eh, nagkakasundo po itong mga ito at si Joe Masison. Ano? Uh, pero hindi binabanata ng Amnesty International ang mga karumal-dumal na ginagawa ng NPA, uh, uh, ano, MILF or MNLF at iba pa. Ano? And um, so, uh, we, uh, we can uh, show uh, the efforts of, of Amnesty International now to try to uh, create a very bad image of our government. You know? But um, the truth is, uh, nako-curtail ba ang press freedom and media freedom? Nagkasalita si Kamentong dito. Others can disagree. The Inquirer continues to operate. Philippine Star, although they should be investigated also for their foreign uh, funding. You know? uh, hindi lang po nakalusot itong Rappler. But I think susunod po ang Inquirer. Dahil ang Inquirer, ang mga proyektos po, to to sa totoo, Itong nakaraang tatlong pung taon, protektado ni Cory Aquino at ang mga dilawan, 8 billion billion pesong tax evasion po sa mga kumpanya nila tulad nung uh, isang donut company nila. I will not mention the name because I might make the mistake of naming another company. But you can read it up on uh, the internet. Ano? And uh, mabuti na sabi naman ni Presidente Duterte na iimbestigahan na niyan yung uh, uh, tax evasion nitong mga uh, uh, nitong inquirer. Ano? And ang Philippine Star, of course, uh, ginamit, ginagamit sa politika ng mga dilaw and kay uh, Congressman Belmonte, ano? uh, na hindi din naiimbestigahan ng Philippine Star yung, uh, yung kapartner ni Sunny Belmonte na contractor na bilyonaryo ngayon na galing sa wala. Ano, ano ang mga deals doon? Ang dami po niyan eh. Ano? Um, so, uh, ang National Press Club, the country's oldest uh, press uh, institution, media institution, has come out with a statement saying that the press freedom is not curtailed by the SEC decision. Ano? And sabi ng National Press Club, ano, press freedom begins with following the law and the constitution. You can read its statement on the internet too and uh, the other print media. And ito naman ang sagot ko sa lahat ng mga de debate uh, sa aking post sa Facebook. Uh, if we can show that, and I will read it. Ano, um, uh, a 1,000 peso envelope to media is corrupt invent, uh, in uh, developmental journalism daw. Yan ang tawag na. But, o oh, media is one uh, million dollar to two million dollar kasi iba-ibang mga reports. Basta million po yan. Uh, to Rappler is called an investment. May mag invest ba sa isang operasyon na taon-taon losses ang nire-report? Hindi po. Itong pinasok na dolyaryas ng Omidyar uh, at North Base at iba pa. At pati mga Ayala, Pangilinan and so on. Meron ding pinasok yan dyan. Ano? E para protektahan ang interes nila at uh, tuligsain uh, ang pamahalaan para laging destabilize ang pa uh, pamahalaan na hindi po sila uh, ma-prosecute. Uh, Ang kasunod po doon ay yung uh, 300,000 uh, dolyares sa uh, uh, Center for Media Freedom and Responsibility, uh, $75,000 for Vera Files, I think $200,000 for, for uh, $300,000 ba for uh, PCIJ, $250,000. Anyway, so that is our brief discussion. Uh, I present all this for you to think about. Ano, and uh, maybe uh, next episode, I should try to explain how we can build up our state media. Alam po ninyo yung mga bansa na mature, tulad ng England, may BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation. Ang Canada, may Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, and so on. Hindi masama ang state media. Kasi ang state media, pinopondahan dapat ng taong bayan para makuha ang lahat ng mga panig at magkaroon ng isang common national view reflecting the national interest. Okay. Uh, in our second segment uh, today, we will talk about the U.S. and Amboy's War versus the Philippines and China teamwork. Let's take this break. <music>